All right, now that we've looked at the general equation for derivative of an inverse function, which I put here again, um, we can apply it to some examples. So a function that we use a lot would be log of x. Again, natural log of x, I'm just calling log of x. Um, we might want to find its derivative and we know what its inverse is, or at least I hope we know what its inverse is, right? So its inverse is e to the x. So we can write it this way, right? Let e to the x be the original function because we know how to find its derivative. And the function we want to know, right, is our inverse. So f inverse of x is log of x. So we start with that orientation. And of course, this was one of our greatest properties that f prime of x in this case is just going to be e to the x, right? e to the x repeats itself. So let's find the derivative of log of x. Well, again, just kind of go back to this general formula. Log of x was our inverse function. So apparently this derivative looks like 1 over f prime of f inverse of x. Well, okay, here's f prime of x, right, e to the x. But instead of just an x, right, that's, that's that of the inverse function, so e to the power of natural log of x. Well, okay, that looks maybe not so great. It's not the worst thing. But we can simplify this a little bit, e to the log of x, because they're inverse functions, those two should cancel each other out. So we just get 1 over x, which is a pretty nice derivative as well.